This morning, uh, Houston, Texas, mayoral candidate John Whitmire appeared on PBS show. Uh, I think it's called Houston Matters. And uh, I sent in a question. What's, here's a question I said. Why would Houstonians vote for a decidedly conservative with a Democratic label that instead of solving problems from the core is using Republican talking points on crime and more? Shouldn't we be fearful that your support is from major Republican donors for Tita and uh, Mattress Max and others who also supported election deniers and funded their cases? You said that you have the repartee with Republicans, yet you allowed them to leave billions on the table irresponsibly and allowing the debts of uninsured Texans instead of accepting the Medicaid expansion to the Affordable Care Act. Why are you not thinking outside of the box? So that's a question I asked. They only asked him half the question. I want you to listen to it, and then we'll take it on the other side. Finally, Egberto writes, why would Houstonians vote for a decidedly conservative uh, with a Democratic label that instead of solving problems from the core is using Republican talking points on crime and more? Shouldn't we be fearful that your support is from major Republican donors who also supported election deniers and funded their causes? Well, I have a voting record. I uh, have voted against most of the things he's concerned about. Uh, so I have a record. I, I'm not going to defend. Uh, I've got a record on every, a voting record on everything you want to bring up. Uh, the financial support is the same financial support the current mayor received, and some of my opponents have had receptions at their homes and in hotels. Some of the business have looked to see who is a can-do public servant, and that's the reason they're behind me. I've got AFL-CIO support, got huge minority su community support, so I think the, the person just needs to look at my record. I have put together a strong coalition to run for mayor. I'm very proud. We, we're in every community. We have a very young, dynamic team that uh, is really going to make a difference going forward. That's the only reason I'm running, is to make a difference. That's why you support me, because I'm not worried about the political agenda at all. And I'm, this is, garbage pickup does not, is not a Democrat or Republican issue. Let's just get it done. Public safety, I've been chair of criminal justice for 30 years because I don't politicize it. I just want to lock up the people that, are, that we're afraid of and not those that we're mad at. And uh, you'll be surprised. From day one, the improvement on public safety, a re-entry program, and assisting those that want to turn their lives around. The sex workers on Bissonette, that's not a uh, thats not a criminal justice issue. That's a social issue. You need to help the workers get away from their abusers, their human traffickers, and uh, lock up those that are using the sex workers. So there's an example where you lock up people you're afraid of, not that you're mad at. I've been robbed at gunpoint. I know what it's like to beg for my life. Those people need to be held accountable. Now, before we even get into him not answering the specific question that I really wanted him to answer, in other words, well, we'll get into that after. But there's, a, there's a, something that really irked me with the response. Let's lock up those we fear, not those we don't like or those that are bad. That's what he said. Let's lock up those that we fear. You know what's interesting? There are a lot of cops and there are a lot of folks who look at someone like me and they say, I fear you and that's why I'm either going to shoot you or that's why I'm going to do something to you or that's why. Lock up those we fear. No, you lock up those who do something wrong, not those that you fear. That's an important concept that I think many should learn. And, and that really, I don't know about you, but when I heard that, it, it was kind of shocking. Lock up those you fear. Well, there are a lot of times you have unwarranted fears. There are a lot of times that there's something out there that you're fearful for just because you don't know, just because of how you were reared. But then secondly, uh, if you have donors that are supporting you in, in lockstep and barrel, like let's say a Fertita here in Houston, who was a, a billionaire that owns much in Houston, or a Mattress Max, who all these folks are from a particular ilk 
who also some supported uh, the, 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 the denier, the election denier crowd. If they're supporting you, shouldn't that be a concern from a decidedly democratic city, from a decidedly progressive city? Look, uh, I think when you're choosing a mayor, you have to choose somebody that has a closer affinity to the population at large. Well-connected means the population at large cannot be served because the well-connected is served. Not to say that a Sheila Jackson or others aren't well-connected as well, but we know based on record that they are a part of the community. They are in the community. They are of the community. I, again, the one thing on this particular response that really touched me, that really uh, concerned me. Lock up those you fear. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.